Okay guys, I'm the Rapid Savage, and welcome to my quest to unlock the truth about Jurassic Park. Before this video starts, if you like this video, please slap that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. I would also appreciate it. Today, we'll be unlocking the truth about the IRX's death. Yet again, this is my opinion 100%. Maybe this is wrong. Completely, maybe it's true completely. Who knows? And we'll never know. But we're gonna be solving the Irex's death. My, in my opinion, it did die. It got pulled in by the Mosasaur, drowned, or it could have drowned or be eaten. But the most logical sense would have been drowned first by the Mosasaur, and then it would have been eaten. But um, people speculate that it's still alive. Why? Would, people speculate it will still be alive because of cuttlefish DNA. Yes, it was implied in the movie that it does have cuttlefish DNA, but it was also implied that it has other genes of other animals, of other abilities, and that uh, greatly impact the gene of the cuttlefish. It could camouflage, but we were never told that it can breathe underwater. That was never told to us in the movie or in the reviews or in the description or anything. We do not have proof that it could breathe underwater. So that comes to my first part of my theory that it did not survive. It drowned. It either drowned or suffocated because the bite force of the Mosasaur is highly greater than the bite force of the Irex, which could have just suffocated, just choked it. Would it not drown? Maybe it didn't drown. But maybe it got choked by the Mosasaur, and that's how it died. Or it could have drowned, because the drowning part is still out in the air. We don't have no conf um, confirmation that it could breathe underwater. But it, it is a possibility. I would agree kind of on that, but not sufficiently enough for me to believe that it's still alive. And the third part is it got eaten. As you've seen in the movie... It got high, w really damaged throughout the movie. It got hit by helicopter bullets. It got hit by a rocket launcher. It even got hit by Rexy and Blue. And as you can see in the movie, it can um, it does is it can protect itself. Its skin is really tough because it got blown up. It's gay. Okay, its skin got blown up, caught on fire, and it still didn't die. And Rexy bit um, her neck multiple times. Blue scratched her neck multiple times. And maybe the Mosasaur did the final, did the final punch, like the final, like finish him. And then just kill, just killed the Irex. The, but let's say it did survive. That would not really make any sense because of the blood loss, as you can see in this picture. The Mos the Mosasaur is biting on the Mos on the Irex, and it's bleeding really heavily. This is logical. This makes sense, since all the wounds are inflicted in the movie. But it could if it did climb out on land. It w it would probably bleed out, or if it didn't bleed out, it would be a really long time until it gets into another fight with another dinosaur. Maybe Rexy. Maybe they meet up again. But she'll probably die because Rexy will have more, like, can affect more damage and kill it easily. But who knows? The other part of it trying to climb out the tank would be not really logical. If the Mosasaur cannot swim, that's a theory. That's just a theory. It cannot swim because when Zack and Green jump off the waterfall, it did not go down there to, in the water to get them. Maybe it can't swim. And if it did, if it could swim, it wouldn't swim as fast as the Mosasaur. The Mosasaur is highly larger. It's 60 feet. The Indominus Rex is 40 feet. The bite force is greatly stronger than the Irex. Let's just say the Mosasaur beats the Irex in all sorts of ways. There's a bunch of animals on that island that can take out the Irex easily. It's not that hard to kill the Irex if you're greater than it and you have more abilities than it. But if it did try to swim, it couldn't swim as fast as the Mosasaur. 
But th let's just say, yes, this Irex could have died. But let's say it wasn't the only Irex. Yes, it had a sibling in the movie, but she ate it. She, the reason that she had a sibling from Claire in the beginning of the movie, Claire said, we have the sibling because maybe this one wouldn't survive infancy. Who said both of them wouldn't survive infancy? Maybe on Isla Sorda, they restored it like they restored Isla Nublar, and they keep the Irexes and the other hybrids there. Who knows? Maybe there is another um, Irex, but it's more of a hybrid than this Irex, and it could just easily destroy the island. Who knows? But that's just a th theory. If you guys enjoyed this video, please slap that like button. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.